In this video, I'm sharing my top five project management software. Since kicking off CloudWords in 2012, our team has tried out various project management tools. We can separate the good from the bad and tell you what's the very best. It's been, to be honest, a little bit of a trial and error, but it really helped us figure out what makes software and particular project management software successful. Choosing the best one is pretty straightforward for us. We check out what features they have, how good they look and work, like how good do they feel and how well can other people work with it in our team. And of course, if they're affordable, that's also very important for a lot of people. While I recommend all the options, I do have a favorite and hang tight until the end to find out which one this is. Let's kick things off with Trello. I and the rest of the CloudWords team are really big fans of it. It also used to be our go-to project management tool before adding a lot of limitations to the free plan, to be honest. The cool thing about Trello is basically its simplicity. It's, in my opinion, one of the easiest project management softwares to use. Bringing in new team members on a board is really a breeze and even the least tech savvy team members of your team will be able to use it, no problem at all. In terms of features, the free and entry level plans are a little bit basic. You only get the Kanban board, but honestly, I think if you're a personal user or part of a small team, you'll be actually fine. Also, you're getting the best Kanban board, which to me, is a major plus point because I organize almost everything in a Kanban board, even my personal household chores. If you have the cash for the higher paid plans, you unlock so-called Gantt charts, table views, and a calendar. But let's be real. If you're using Trello, you're probably sticking with the awesome Kanban board and that would is probably enough for 80, 90% of the users. The design of the software is decent, but I doubt it will win any awards anytime soon. If you're into something more, say, visually appealing, stick with me because in the upcoming options, we'll definitely have that covered for you. Now, when it comes to pricing, Trello is budget friendly. If you pay yearly, you can snag it off for as low as $5 per user per month. A really sweet deal, but just keep in mind that at that price, you get a limited feature set. If you need more, be ready to shell out a bit more cash. And $5 sounds low, but $5 per user per month the bill can rack up pretty quickly, especially if you add 5, 10, 15 team members to your board and want to collaborate with a lot of people. Next, I've got Soho Projects. We've checked out several Soho products here at CloudWords and Projects keeps up the Soho tradition of delivering best-in-class software. What I love about Soho Projects is the level of customization it offers. If the default design isn't for you, you've got 24 other themes to choose from, plus a bunch of fonts to make it more legible for you. It has all the standard task management tools serving up a list view and a Kanban board. It's also handy for more complex projects. And for all you fans of agile methodology, you'll find tools for bug tracking and also issue logging. If you like to be productive, which obviously we all do, then I'm sure you'll like the native document creator. I've used it to craft blog posts and jot down meeting notes. It even lets you upload and manage pre-made documents. So if you're a big fan on organization, you can really create a basic document management system for your files all right in Zoho. Now, the downside of Zoho projects is the limited third-party integrations. No. There are some, but not as many as other options I'll talk about. It seems Zoho wants to keep you a little bit like within its ecosystem with little option to escape. And if you do need to expand your workflow, then Zoho has its own tools. And in fairness, they are pretty good, but sometimes you might need that other feature or that other integration, and then you might be just stuck. The most you'll shell out is $9 per user per month on annual billing, making projects one of the best bang for your buck platforms out there. There's also a free plan, though I must warn you, features are very limited and not ideal for experienced users who really want to grow their teams. Now, let's talk about Asana, an all-in-one project management solution that could easily be one of the best. I'll explain why it isn't very soon. 
First things first, the user interface of Asana is a standout. It's sleek and beautiful, making it a delight to use, especially if it's part of your daily routine. And honestly, it doesn't matter if you're on desktop or mobile app, navigating through Asana, for me, is a breeze. I really like how Asana organizes its tools and features, and none of them are really hard to find, and switching between project views is really effortless. There's no click fest when using Asana either. I can get what I need with only a few taps of my mouse, just how it should be, right? Also, Asana offers various task management options, including Kanban board, which for me gives Trello a run for its money, and there's a timeline view, a standard list, plus a lot more. After spending some quality time with Asana, I've nothing but positive things to say about its tools to help you get your work done. And adding to its charm is a dedicated chat tool. You can split teams into channels, have private conversations, and create follow-up tasks. Asana's Achilles heel is actually its pricing. The entry-level plan is pricier than most, and there's a significant price jump between paid plans, and that's the reason it really doesn't and cannot snag the number one spot here in our list. But fear not, Asana makes up for it with the best free plan on the market. Loaded with features and minimal usage limits, many of you might not even feel the need to upgrade to the paid service unless you want to do really fancy automations and triggers within the app. Right. So, in second place, I've got ClickUp, a contender that could easily claim the number one spot. We recently switched to ClickUp for our editorial calendar here at Cloudwords, and to be honest, our experience has been nothing but positive. Yes, it'll cost you a little bit to set everything up to get the automations going that you want, but all in all, it's a great experience. I know all you project managers love to plan effectively, and ClickUp gets that too. It comes packed with tailored tools like a whiteboard and a mind map, and I've used these tools myself and it made it so much easier to visualize the work I wanted to do. I really enjoyed being able to manage my tasks inside the mind map, and I could even share it with a team. And really, having some other tools in a project management software gets rid of a lot of my other tools that, that I've been using for mind maps or other organization uh, tools or document management tools. Now, all the essential task management tools are at your disposal, and with the Kanban board being our go-to for easily and, di and daily project views, it just makes work life so much easier, and I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy using it too. In terms of task features, ClickUp has got it all. You're able to create task dependencies, very important, custom task fields, and assign tasks to other team members. Now, the software covers every critical part of task management, and that's why we enjoy using it so much. I do want to see a few improvements to navigation in future versions of the software. Many tools and features are a little bit tucked away behind collapsible menus, and hey, we all love a crystal maze, but when it comes to software, I don't want to spend too long figuring out where I need to go. Maybe I'm a little bit nitpicking here, but it's an area where ClickUp really could consider some enhancements in terms of usability. But here's the kicker. ClickUp offers exceptional value. There's a generous free plan that should cover single users and micro teams. The entry level plan comes in at $7 per user per month on annual billing, making it a fantastic budget friendly project management solution. Before I let loose on the ultimate project management software, just a quick heads up. You'll find the links to reviews for each platform I've talked about down in the description box below, and make sure to give them a look before jumping into any service because most of them you can really try out for free without any risks to see if it really fits you and your organization well. Okay, let's talk about my top pick for project management software. And it is, drum roll, you know the drill, monday.com. For me, it checks really all the right boxes in nearly every category and offers fantastic value on its paid plans. It sits comfortably on its throne because the design is stunning and you can do so much with it thanks to all its top draw features. So diving in, let's 
talk about the dashboard. It's nothing short of beautiful. I love how you can pull up multiple project views at the same time, all on one screen. And if you make use of Monday.com's color coding features, you can swiftly create a dynamic view of all your tasks for a beautiful overview. For the analytical brains in your team, there's a variety of widgets and reporting views to choose from. They're great because they make it really easy to digest project data, no matter how complex your workload is. When it comes to third-party app integrations, Monday.com has you also covered. You can sync with your favorite cloud storage servers, messaging platforms, and collaboration tools. It even doubles as a CRM through its native integrations. It may not be better than a dedicated CRM, but for me, it gets the job done and saves me from spending money on a separate service. If you are on the AI hype train, then you'll love that Monday.com has its unique take on implementing the technology. The software can automatically generate tasks by analyzing text from meeting notes and help with crafting and rewriting emails. Also, if you're hitting a blank wall, it can generate content from scratch. All in all, using Monday.com is a joy. It truly helps remove the stress that comes with daunting to-do lists and large-scale projects. And it's not perfect, and it's only fair that I highlight where it can improve. Mainly, it falters a bit with a weak free plan and a below-average basic plan. Yet, at $12 per user per month on annual billing, the standard plan hits the sweet spot in terms of features and cost. I'd consider snagging a 14-day free trial of Monday.com. It's probably the best way to see if you enjoy using it. And hey, don't forget to check out our full review of Monday.com and the other project management software that we've been talking about here below in the description box for more reading and more details. And that's it. Now you have your options. It's time to get productive. Stop watching this video or watch my other videos on the channel. That's also a good option. <laughs> but I have no doubt you'll be happy with your choice as all of them will deliver on the brief and that's helping you get work done. So if you like this video, hit the bell, subscribe and leave a comment which software you chose. In the end, I'll love to read your thoughts and comments and see you in my next video. Bye bye.